In this video, I'll show you how to make some delicious and somewhat healthy chicken and cabbage meatballs that I like to serve with creamy onion gravy. I'll begin by peeling, washing and then chopping an onion, then I'll saute with olive oil. And while that happens, I'll chop up some cabbage, which is a good way to increase the moistness level of the meatball, as well as adding a vegetable that even picky eaters won't notice. With the cabbage chopped, I'll add it to the onions and continue to saute until it all becomes wilted and brown. This process will increase the sweetness from both the onions and the cabbage. There's some fun there, so I'm gonna deglaze it with a little water, but white wine would also be great. Now I'll transfer this mixture to a bowl and then wash and chop some fresh parsley. When the mixture has cooled down, I add one egg, some salt, black pepper, coriander powder and nutmeg. This combination is great with chicken. Then I mixed it because I forgot to add the parsley. You can add it right here too. After squeezing the ground chicken out of its tube, I add the prepared mixture, mix and add some fine oats until I get a mixture that is somewhat firm and then in goes the forgotten parsley. After mixing it, I covered with cling film and placed it in the fridge because someone had to wash the dishes. And now it's time to portion the meatballs. I used an ice cream scooper because I once saw someone doing it and it's great, but you can use a regular spoon as well. The advantage of something like an ice cream scooper is that all your meatballs will be uniform in size so they'll cook relatively at the same rate. Then I placed some olive oil in a skillet and started browning them and transferring them to another dish. Have you ever heard about the wise man who said that perfectly round meatballs are never good? Me neither. In fact, I just invented that as a form of justification. Anyway, with the meatballs seared, I'll start working on the gravy by slicing two large onions, which I'm gonna caramelize in olive oil. I promise you that bay leaves do have flavor. I'm keeping this pan on high heat and I'm stirring constantly because I need them to develop a fawn for me, which I'm deglazing with a little water, The wine would be great. Now I'm adding a vegetable stock cube, which is technically optional, but not really. If you skip it, I'll find out where you live. And after letting it sort of dissolve, I'm once again deglazing it, at which point I'll return the meatballs to the pan, partially cover them with water because of the stock cube, but you could use any kind of stock all the way and cover the pan. I took advantage of the time to get some white rice started, but you could get some pasta started instead. Then I tasted it and it needed some salt, so I added some. I decided to thicken the gravy with a basic cornstarch slurry because it doesn't alter the color. Shaking the pan instead of stirring works really well when you have delicate items in it, like these meatballs. I added a little more slurry because it was too thin, turned the heat off and then covered it. The heavy cream was added just before serving to reduce the chance of curdling. As I said, I'm serving it with white rice and some sautéed bitter greens, but anything would work. That's it then. Thanks for watching.